Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You want to wave to my neighbors? Our local CHP office right there, home of the commercial cop, DOT officers, and all the law. There he is, he's parked right there. See you, buddy. Hey, well, good morning everybody. Hope you're gonna have a great day today. We're moving into a new job. Diamond C 5500. We gotta do a little bit of work before we get to work today. I'm gonna fire this thing up. And uh, that's what temperature it is outside door jar. Probably like 38, 40. Not bad. Well, I wanna talk about the trailer a little bit today because I continuously have questions on how this trailer is holding up for me if I still really like it. And I'm gonna answer those right at the beginning of this video and then we're just gonna go to work with it and you guys can watch me do my same old, same old. Got my new sticker up there, bbeltonsun.com, check her out. Reminds me, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe right now, I would really appreciate that. Got my lunchbox set up. I had to order new communications. I ordered some really expensive ones and they actually were worse than the cheap ones that are on the helmet now. Yeti. Never had a Yeti before, but I actually kind of like it. I got it as a Christmas present. I know they did some weird political stuff, but it's got grippers on the bottom, so it probably would stay on there even if I didn't throw that little bungee. Let's shut that thing up. All right, let's talk about this trailer while I give the truck a chance to warm up. I'm gonna go over some of the things that I'm not too thrilled about. First thing being is the remote does not have the best range. I tried to figure out a way to get a different remote for it on my own. Um, even talked to Diamond C, maybe, we, you know, I just didn't come up with anything I really liked and I found that their wiring system was a little bit different than what my dump trailer was for the same remote, but the remote range is not that long. So that is like my first and like major complaint about it is it, it bounces on and off because the signal strength isn't strong enough to hit there. And I mean the trailer is, I'll do the math, but right here, I don't remember what day I got it, but it's within months old and the battery should be strong enough in the controller still because I don't use a trailer that extreme amount. Next thing while I'm talking about battery is it's kind of a bummer that the battery it's a you know, continental marine deep cycle this thing I, I put it on the charger when I'm not using the trailer just so I don't have to worry about it but you know it's easier for me just to plug it in right now and try getting some life out of this battery than spending the money and buying a brand new one but you know, I mean if I was using it day in and day out the truck does trickle charge it it go dead on me once already that would be like People are asking me, you really still in love with it? Yes, I'm very, very happy with this trailer. Uh, I don't wanna like blow smoke by people thinking, oh, well, he's just talking, you know, cause he's got a great deal on it and he doesn't wanna let people think he didn't really like the trailer still. Yes, I'm very happy with it. In fact, I would buy another one of these again right now. Everything about it I like. There's, I mean, what more can I say about it? The trailer is everything I was expecting out of it. Those two things that really, really I wish those were better it was the battery from the start and the remote control other than that she's ready to rock and roll thing situated if you're going to order one of these trailers order with the chain racks right from the start i'll tell you that much right now those make a big difference your organization is key and i opted to buy my own box this was like a 50 dollars box from harbor freight and i keep my uh, you know rubber in there and tie straps these fit in there nice wedge my broom up in there spare tire racks nice and hidden i need to get a cover for that but hydraulics and everything are working great on this rig hydraulic disc brakes hydraulic dove hydraulic tongue she's ready to rock and roll still just dirty but people keep asking how i'm liking this thing 
I buy it again. No comment on that right now. We're waiting on some stuff. There's a reason why videos get held up sometimes, guys. It's not me holding them up. I guess it was a good day yesterday. I had the air conditioning on in here. you guys thinking i'm just bad mouth and diamond c or any of that stuff there's just some tweaks that everything needs i there's tweaks that i need to make for myself i guarantee it but uh as far as that controller that controller is kind of like everybody in the industry is running with that same brand and i don't know how they got their foot in the door so well but it uh my dump trailer came with it i was noticing in the new demo ranch video the uh what's he got the new texas pride trailer he got I'll run with the same brand of remote control for it and I don't know why that brand is so I mean it's maybe it's cheaper I don't know but it's just it's not not good enough for what I'm wanting you can see this is the controller KTI sorry guys I don't want to be bashing but you need to bump it up destructive criticism right there just stopped and got the transfer tank topped off with off-road fuel. I'll be running the Prime Tech a lot today, so my little tank that I have on this truck will no doubt be ran dry. I only run a little tank on this truck for weight reasons. I don't want to run a big 100-gallon tank because we're already pretty heavy as it is. I don't want more fuel than I really need. This is just a little insurance tank start the jobs off nice to have it though it is nice to have it. this trailer I want to mention I did tow my old trailer the other day with this truck this trailer is way I mean I talked about it before that this trailer was supposed to be lighter it is yeah it is noticeably lighter just towing around an empty trailer you notice the difference you tow this one for a while then you go back to the old Texas Pride and uh, you can't really short shift that much with the Texas Pride. You got to actually stretch the gearing or stretch your RPMs up just a little bit, a lot bit more. To make sure you pull these hills empty. All right, what's going on here? You got it, bud. Check it out. One of those new Jeep trucks. Comment below. You guys like those things? I think they're sweet. And my dash is dirty. It's okay. This be one of them work trucks. It might have Alcoa's on it, but it's, it's a work truck. I think it, Alcoa is like the nice wheel for work truck, so. Okay, there's our destination on the left side. Now we hope for no cars to come so I can turn around or back in there. All right, guys, that's about uh, 30 bucks worth of weight back there. One thing, don't forget, a lot of the times when I'm parked on a hill, I'll put the truck obviously in gear and then put it in four wheel drive. Don't forget to take it out of four wheel drive, especially when you're gonna be making a turn like that with the load that I got back there. That's just a recipe for nothing good. Turn up them trailer brakes a little bit too. I had a guy asking about the quality of the paint on the Diamond C. Because he said his dealer said it wasn't very good. It could be better. That machine right there weighs 22,000 pounds. Has metal steel tracks. Alright, metal steel. That's more than iron. 
But look at how it's handling this stuff here. I throw these down on top of it, trying to help prevent that dent right there. You can see how that's happening. That's one of my things I'm gonna have to improve, but that's just nature of the beast hauling that big machine. But look how it's handling here. They got some thick paint on here. I don't know how people in like a salt belt handle, but here, just judging by the fact of like my binders rub right here, if that was my Texas Pride, it would have already been metal to metal right there. And everywhere I spot, like I throw down my binders on the frame, can't even tell. Doesn't chip it. So I think the paint is damn good. And dovetail, you gotta hold down both buttons to activate the wind or the controller. I like to track the machine forward so that the you can hear it stuttering. So that the weight of the machine isn't rubbing on the tail as it lifts and it goes back down. It goes up hydraulically and then there's a mechanical lock. It pushes a mechanism up and it cams over and comes down. So it's mechanically locked. It's not hydraulic locked. I like that. I don't really like care for that being in that nasty of a spot there. See it stuttering? That's it. The aim controller. One more cool thing about the hydraulic dove is when it goes down, that thing is pretty much like a big scotch block itself. And being the fact that it power hydraulic down, it's not allowing the tongue of the truck to lift up because there's so much weight pushing down with that dove. So I don't have to block the rear like I used to. I like the trailer though, very happy with it. Still learning in it though. I like how that 12 foot ramp on the back provides a nice mellow transition. If you guys ever loaded a steel track machine, that breakover point is normally pretty tricky. Trying to do it nice and smooth. I kind of can run at it a little bit more. I mean, the transition is so much mellower. Thing is still pretty finicky about load placement on there. I don't know what it is. I got the heavy duty suspension, but if you don't get it just right, it does not provide a comfortable, smooth sail for you. I will say that much. My other trailer, you didn't, it didn't care where you put stuff on there. As long as you had tongue weight. They could have got air ride. All those people saying, get air ride. get this thing out of the way. I'm gonna have to park the truck right here. I just talked to the landowner of this spot. I gotta track this machine a half mile down this road because I cannot fit with my truck and trailer. Yeah, that is kind of tight right there. 30 feet worth of deck space on this thing, that long dovetail. Definitely a couple limitations. In spots like that is one of them. All righty, to wrap this one up, I don't think there's much really that I would change on this trailer. Uh, I'd probably spend the extra tax money and get it prorated to 30K just so I wouldn't have to hear any issues with that. That way I'd be full 30K rated, or I might even stepped it up to a 40K class. But as far as 2020 BS comes, got some more life out of this truck to go. But if I got another 5,500, which I most definitely will, if uh, I keep doing what I'm doing, get a regular cab with a short wheelbase. And reason to keep it with the 5,500, I know it's less horsepower, but probably put a stealth module or something on it to get bump it up to what the other trucks running the 3500 but i do that so i could have the turning radius because i could have made some of those turns one run with the 3500 this thing it just out turns any 3500 any day of the week with that wide front end well tractor in both of them tracked it in a half mile i did the excavator last night 
And you guys just saw me do the prime here. But this, uh, here's the job. I've been working for this tree company a lot lately doing the, they come in and make the mess and we clean her up. But there's a dirt bike over there by that water tank. I think it was here last time, like four weeks ago. Poor thing just sitting out in the weather. So we're gonna do some mulching. Dad did some sorting already. Well, here's what we've done in four hours. Quite a bit here. A lot more than we actually thought, but we're way out in the bushes, load after load, stacking her up. I'm gonna go grab my truck right now because, well, need more fuel. We don't want to run that thing out. That happened on accident when I got on steeper ground the other day and that pretty much sucked. Switch it over to the hydraulic jacks. Disconnect all my... That's what uh, the latch is on the Gen Y. Kind of, I mean it works, but kind of weird. Lights continuously green. Theft deterrent. <laughs> Gonna lower it down. Sorry, the window's all dirty. Putty dog gets his nose right up on it. There we go. Said it before, but now that I'm making, you know, a featured video on the trailer, mentioning the fact hydraulic jacks, I don't think I'll ever buy another trailer again without the hydraulic jacks. Hydraulic dovetail is very nice, but not super, super nice compared to like, I don't know, hydraulics on both ends, very nice. But I wouldn't have been so in a hurry to come up here and take the trailer off to drive the truck down in here fuel machine because before hand cranking with my old trailer that weighed more that really sucked but bringing truck in there to fuel it right now we got fuel left but i just don't want to run out and when i fill that thing i only fill it three quarters of the way because if you get on uneven ground the gas cap on it needs to be replaced but it leaks out like the keyhole on it it's kind of screwed so can't fill it up too much and the fuel gauge even on the newer prime techs it showed only literally it was a half tank but it shows empty on the gauge don't know but being that he's going to be on a little bit steeper ground on the side hill and stuff we're just going to fill it up right now very glad it didn't drive my truck up this hill with the trailer back there there's no way i don't actually think i could have pulled up this hill and stayed like and kept traction hey, way across the road down there get over here emma come on boone probably having to do his business i made a mess back in my truck 35 gallons ish was in there today that's what i put in the machine so far and we're back up to a third of a tank but like i said in the beginning of the day that this little guy is just kind of like a little savior tank but and I will just say, it is an awesome day right now. Look at there, they came back. That's like that good kind of weather. Got a little chill in the air, it's good for working. Smells nice. I really like this truck. Comment below how many miles exactly you guys think is on it right now. I'm gonna put a thing up on my Instagram and give away some stuff. For the guy that gets within, I'm going to say within 10 miles of... Alright, it might have been a little bit unreasonable. But for you guys, if somebody does actually guess correctly on uh, the actual miles on this truck, I took a photo of it when I was talking about it earlier. Uh, if somebody gets it spot on, I will send you a hat and a sticker. But if you guess within 50, I'll just send you a sticker. And I will let you guys know, like I said, in the next video. We'll give away. Comment how many miles you think are on this truck right now. It is 2008. I am the second owner. You guys tell how steep this hill is? Pretty steep. Nice water boards. Boone thought about putting a seat belt on. That's how steep it is. There's a bad boy right there. Let's see if I can do this. Drive up to it. I'm going to fire up the remote right now. We gotta check because I, I don't want to drop it on something. I don't want to drop it. Oh, not quite. I'm gonna grease that ball. I got it off. Here. Oh, come on, get on there. Oh, brother. 
Come here. Come here. Who's that out there? Is that in there? There that was. <laughs> Come back, Blue. Come on, we gotta go. Alrighty guys, back at the house. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it didn't really have much uh, structure. It was kind of all over the place, but I guess it was kind of a day in the whatever Sam's got going on. But overall, this trailer, I'm very happy. I mean, there's not really too much more I can say about it other than everything I said before is accurate. It's holding up to everything that I've thrown at it. Just the fact that back there is kind of dinging up a little bit because a uh, 20 some odd thousand pound machine's got some mean steel tracks. But the 12K axles, no problems. The hydraulic disc brakes, they are a little bit different getting used to. Uh, they do react slower than your electric brakes, but they work great. Oh man, they work so freaking good. I don't even, I turn them up like 60% maybe with my standard trailer brake. They have a lot, a lot of stopping power. But uh, I, there was a lot of research and a lot of, you know, talking to other people that are running 12Ks before I decided I'd go 12s. But like I said before, they can prorate a 12K trailer 25%. So they can make this trailer a 30K trailer. But to opt out of paying the extra taxes and I could put more weight on my truck and divide my weight, I, uh, I went with a tw under 26K rated. So I don't have to pay the extra 12% for the excise tax. But down here at the shop, I'm going to pull the other trailer down here and do the video for comparing this bad boy to the shocker and then my buddy arthur he's coming up and he's gonna borrow the gen y and see how he likes it but oh, i love this setup guys i could just say this right now i love this setup this is awesome uh i'm really like this morning it's kind of ironic that i was talking about not wanting to put a bigger fuel tank on here but i actually wouldn't mind actually driving this truck more as a not a daily but like a daily work rig not just a hundred percent tow because i have not put that many miles on it when i tell you guys the actual mileage on this truck you're gonna be like what the hell some of you og guys know pretty much exactly what the mileage is on it but boone's got more miles on it than my truck does Anyway, guys, hit them buttons, like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you on the next one. Thank you for sticking for the whole video. If you made it this far, say hell yeah, Sam. We made it. I appreciate you. Later on, guys. I appreciate you more than you know. Later.